If you're only going to own one level, it's got to be a four-footer. I've talked about this before. We've got a video on it. You can check it out. But for the sake of this conversation in this project, a four-footer would build this house. If you're going to get another level, it probably ought to be a torpedo level, maybe a two-footer, because you know a shorter level will get into places that a longer level won't reach. The conversation can be had about whether it's a necessity or a luxury, but you know you can say the same thing about a pickup, right? And we've all got to have a pickup, so let me tell you a little bit about why I have had an eight-foot level in my truck now for 30 years. These are the two eight-foot levels I have now. I only have two because I bought this one 30 years ago and it got severely bent um, probably about 10 years after I, oh no. It got severely bent about eight years ago and so it just had to be replaced. Although amazingly, one of the vials still reads plumb. But I got this Bostitch, I like it. And I have used it almost every day since I started stacking this roof. I used it every day when I was plumbing the walls and every day when I've been stacking the roof. The advantage of an eight foot level is not that it is a better level, but that it's a nice level and a beautiful straight edge. The obvious advantage that an eight foot level has as a level is that it will span eight feet. So I can check whether or not this wall is plumb without worrying about whether or not this post is straight because if the post is straight a four foot a four foot level works perfectly if this post is crooked i have to be able to plumb from the bottom plate to the top plate which an eight foot level will do that's nice but what an eight foot level will do that is just so convenient is it will tell you if the studs in your wall are in a plane it is a straight edge and there is a stud that's projecting and those studs are in a line, in a plane. And coming back this way, those studs are in a plane. So you carry an eight foot level, not so much because you want to establish whether or not the building you're working on is level and plumb, although it will, but so that you can range lines, so you can check plane and a roof, so you can check straightness and studs, so that you can mark a pencil line all the way across an eight foot sheet of plywood at one go. There's just a lot of things that an eight foot level will do that otherwise you might have to stop and go find a board and make sure it's straight and carry it back. And so, I mean, an eight foot level is pretty darn nice. Now, certainly there's a lot of other items on a job site that can be used as a straight edge. I mean, there are straight boards and when you find them, you know, mark it and keep it separate so you can make sure that what you're picking up is gonna be straight. The edge of a piece of plywood, the factory edge of a piece of plywood is always straight. And so you could, if you've got a rip that falls off a cut that you've made, mark it, set it up, keep it. But the thing that you're exposed to is somebody's gonna grab that board and cut it up for a spacer or a shim or gonna get nailed into the wall. And then when you need your straight edge, you've gotta go hunting for one. So the place that an eight foot level begins to become valuable is, you know it's straight, you know where it's at, it's probably in your truck, it's not gonna warp, it's not gonna twist, and besides that, don't forget, it is a level. So when you weigh all this out, because they do cost money, I don't remember what I paid for this, I think I paid a little less for this than I did for the Stanley a long time ago. I'm not sure about that. But it doesn't take, it doesn't have to save you very many times before you forget what you paid and you're just thankful to have it. There's another thing that I often do with an eight foot level and you can really see it on my old one. And that is, it's a good, it's a good story pull. You can attach the rod eye for your laser to this thing. And I mean, boom, the paint, you can see the pencil marks and you can slide it up and down. And when I look at it, I can see that, you know, in the last period of time that I was using this, it looks like I used it as a story pull with my laser about as much as I used it as a straight edge or a level. If you're a pro, you've already thought about this. You've, others, you've seen other guys using it. But I'm gonna stand by my claim that these tools are luxuries in other words, you can get your work done without it, probably, but when you have one, right away it's gonna become a necessity. I bought this in Las Vegas because I took a job for an outfit, I think it was Pratt, was a framing company that was framing the houses for Dell Webb in Sun City, and I took a job as a pickup man for about six months. So those guys were cranking out houses so fast, I think they were cranking out about five houses a day, and there were three of us doing the pickup work. 
And the pickup work is you would go through the house and you would line the studs, you would check the studs for straightness. You know, you would, you would do this and you would check for plumb and you, you, would, you would plane off the high spots and sister blocks on for the low spots and add the fire blocks that were left and sheetrock backing. And you, know, you would just take care of the stuff that the framers had overlooked or screwed up. And so you had to have a straight edge. And so I bought this, it was expensive, but I loved it. And then after I moved to Oregon, I brought it home with me and you know, I was using it for shooting grade and doing my little contracting thing. And a friend of mine in Wyoming needed some help and I was slow and I drove back there and did the job and I drove home and left my level in Wyoming. And so he boxed it up, put it in a cardboard tube and sent it. And when it got here, the US post office had bent it. It was bent right at that vial and at that vial. I thought, well, that's wrecked. But I put it on the bumper of my truck and pushed down on it and it straightened and I pushed down on it and it straightened. And now it's pretty good. Now one of the vials, this one I think, yeah, that vial shot. But the other three vials read true. It's straight enough to use around the shop and it's a good conversation piece, right? And besides that, it's the level that I'll loan you if you want to borrow my level. So don't forget, the four footer is the heroic level. You got to have it. And besides that, they're less expensive. Thanks for watching. Keep up the good work.